Hey yo, what's up G, you here for a cut today? Yeah man, I got a date in a few hours, you know, I'm trying to look fresh. Alright, I, I see you, what you think about getting? Oh, just trim a little off the top, that should be good. Alright, bet, I got you. Alright, all done, what you think? Bro, what did you do to me? I said a little off the top, why is my head on the ground? Bro, haircuts, man. You know, throughout my life, I don't think I've ever gotten a clean haircut. Like, it's always been either decent or completely messed up. Like, the amount of times I've been done dirty on my haircut is insane. Now, throughout the most part of my life, I never really went to a barber to get my haircut. And I would mostly get them from home from either my grandfather or mom. And bro, tell me why moms are always liking the absolute worst possible haircuts ever, bro. Like, they'd have the audacity to give you a cut that'd have you looking like this. And they'd be like, oh my god, your haircut looks so nice on you. I love it. Like, what's up with that? Do they just want us to get made fun of at school? Like, how am I gonna pull some girls with this atrocity on my head, bro? And on the topic of pulling girls, a message to the dudes watching? Listen, fellas, y'all gotta keep your hair freshly groomed. And that doesn't only include your hair on your head. It includes the jungle that Tarzan be swinging through. Like, real talk, fellas, trust me, I've been through the struggle. I've used nail clippers and damn scissors down there. But now I don't because of Manscaped. Manscaped is a notorious brand that offers the best tools and liquid formulations for your everyday men's grooming needs. Manscaped hooked me up with a bunch of their products from their all-in-one perfect package 4.0 in the mail. The first thing to highlight is the Lawnmower 4.0 trimmer. This is Manscaped's fourth generation electric trimmer with advanced skin safety technology, which reduces nicks and cuts on the most sensitive regions of the body. It's cordless and waterproof, so you can trim in the shower, which makes it super convenient and easy to clean up. Also included in the Perfect Package 4.0 kit are the Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant and the Crop Reviver Ball Toner Spray. Simply apply the Crop Preserver after your shower for all-day body odor protection. The Crop Reviver is a convenient spray with cooling aloe vera to quickly refresh the area whenever you need it. Like real talk guys, the deodorant and spray are really nice and I highly recommend them. Go to Manscaped com today and get 20% off and free international shipping plus two free gifts when you use promo code LONY at checkout. The link will be provided in the description and thank you to Manscaped for sponsoring this video. Now back to the video. Now when I was a kid I was always jealous of all the other kids haircuts. Like bro I always wanted one of those spiky mohawk type cuts. Like I remember a lot of the kids at my school were rocking that sort of cut and I was always so envious of them. Like even one of my homies got a mohawk and I was just so jealous bro. Like I wanted one so bad but I knew my mom would never let me. And looking back now, that type of cut would definitely not fit me. I would have just looked so stupid and goofy. So I always just rock the buzz cut or the bowl cut. Yeah, it was rough. Like, I remember some of my old school friends would just call me Mushroom Head because of my bowl cut. Like, pull up a picture of the Mario Mushroom and that was basically me, man. A one-to-one -one identical representation. Now let's talk about barbers. Now listen, man. Every time I've gone to a barber shop, I've been hella confused on what I should get there. Like, there's too many options to pick from. So for the most part, I just always told them, oh, just cut it shorter. Now listen, telling your barber this usually doesn't end well, cause like that's like the most broad thing to tell them. Unless you've been getting your cuts at a specific barber that you always go to, and he knows you really well. But me? I already told y'all, I don't go to barbers that often. So most of the time after the barber's done with my cut, I check it out in the mirror to see if I like it, and most of the time it's just got me disappointed bro. And they're always like, so how you thinking about it, you like it? Now listen, a lot of the time I ain't messing with my cut, but what am I gonna say? No, I f hate it and I hate you, you stink at cutting bro. Nah, bro. That's the last thing I want to do, man. I don't want to hurt bro's feelings, man. So what I'm gonna do is just lie straight at his face and say, yeah, bro, I love it, man. You the goat at cutting, bro. Here's the money plus the tip. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. But yo, why is there a tear falling down your face? Oh, uh, nah, my eyes are just sweaty, bro. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Nah, but one pet peeve I have with barbers nowadays is that the prices for haircuts have been marked up hella over the past few years. Like haircuts used to be like 20 bucks and now they're like 40 to 50 bucks plus 15% tip. Like that's just outrageous. Like I'm really out here paying an arm and a leg just to get a cut. Like goddamn. You're about to see me at the homeless shelter with all that money being spent on a cut. Like damn, I'd rather just go bald every time. But you know, now let me tell you guys about the traumatic cuts I've received in the past. Now this first cut, it happened way, way, way back when I was a young jit. I was probably around 8 to 10 years old and my hair was getting a little too long. And my mom told me, hey, your hair is getting a little too long. You look like a girl. It's time to cut it. So I'm like, okay, just don't cut it too short. All right, I won't. So, you know, we went downstairs and set up everything and my mom begins to cut my hair. And it was going fine for the first 15 minutes. Nothing out of the ordinary happened until I felt one clean cut at the back of my head that touched my scalp and I was panicked. 
I was like, wait, I said to not cut it short. Yeah, 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 I am. Don't worry. And I just went with it. But bro, she started power shaving my head. And I said, stop, stop, stop. And went to look in the mirror. Bro, it looked rough, man. She was trying to shave my head bald, bro. She lied to me. I got bamboozled. And dude, I just started crying, man. Like it was already over. And I just let her finish the haircut. And man, by the end of it, I was looking like Caillou, bro. It was over. Like Mr. Clean had nothing on me, bro. And I was in actual tears after that. That. Like if you've ever gotten an absolute violation of a haircut, you'd yeah, understand the amount of pain that comes with it. And I was like young too, so that haircut meant like everything to me. I already knew I was about to get flamed at school, and I was just dreading to go to school, man. Like the next day, I went to school wearing my hoodie on for the entire day, bro. I wasn't trying to let anyone see my cut. And bro, this was hands down probably the worst day of my life. I was borderline depressed the entire day, bro. Like I was on type timing with SpongeBob when he got fired. Like it was traumatic. It's already giving me PTSD just talking about it. It. But my friends would walk up to me and be like, yo, why do you have your hoodie on? It's like 23 degrees Celsius outside. Like, take it off, man. Uh -huh. Uh, nah, man. Like, I'm just cold still. I don't know. And I like having a hoodie on anyways. And they would just continue to bug me about it the entire day. Like, they wouldn't leave me alone. And I just wouldn't budge. But eventually, I got tired of them asking, and I just told them. Okay, fine. I got a haircut from my mom, and she absolutely did me dirty. All right? Oh, nah. Let us see. Now it was truly over. You know, at this point, I was already fed up and I was tired of being sad. So I showed them. <laughs> Nah, I'm just kidding. That wasn't how it went. They chuckled a little bit at first, but then comforted me and told me it wasn't bad, which was a complete surprise. I thought I was about to get my entire existence flamed for days on end. But in the end, it wasn't as bad as I made the scenario out to be in my head. Now let me tell you about the second story. So after the traumatic experience, I didn't want my mom cutting my hair anymore. So I let my grandfather cut my hair and that became a normal thing for him to cut my hair for the coming years. So the general routine, my hair was growing out, so I need to cut it. So I head downstairs and I get my grandfather to cut it and it was going fine but one thing to mention is my grandfather his eyesight was declining because you know as you get older your eyesight tends to worsen and to be honest i don't know why i was still letting him cut my hair probably because i've just been letting him do it for years so it just became part of the routine and he begins to cut my hair and he moves on to my sides and he begins to cut the hair closest to the ears and i hear a sound of like a meat grinder sound and i was like what the heck was that and my earlobe just all of a sudden felt hot so i go to touch my earlobe and i look at my fingers blood i see blood bro i just froze up just staring at my fingers like what just happened like i was in disbelief bro just cut my ear off. i was in total shock bro like nah man at that point i was just done man so he went to grab some rubbing alcohol and a band-aid to patch me up and finish the rest of the cut carefully and bro after that situation i just have trust issues with people cutting my hair now like i didn't let my grandfather cut my hair no more and now every time i pull up to the barber i just be scared whenever they cut my sides near my ear now like it's got me on edge now. But yeah, moral of the story, if your barber messes up your cut, in the wise words of you know Miles, just you gotta fight the barber. Anyways, I'm out. Bye. Anyways, I'm out.